They say that this man right here, right here that you're looking at right here, is the Antichrist, y'all. What? He's the Antichrist. I say just about anything. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you for stopping by to see me today. Thank you so very much, and thanks to the people who went on to Rumble to watch the video that I could not put on YouTube. Thank you so much, okay? Because, you know, all videos can't be monetized, and like I said before, some channels are getting deleted. Getting banned. Getting, getting ban ba banished. Can't even talk today. I'm still mad about that, but that's all right. That's all right. Move right along here, y'all. Now, let's talk around the internet, social media. That my man back there, my man Trump, is the Antichrist. Y'all so blind, y'all can't even see he's the Antichrist. Now, we know good and darn well that Trump is not the Antichrist. We know that. Some people so stupid. Some people so dumb. They don't read their Bible. You can tell they don't read because if you're calling Trump the Antichrist, you are Bible illiteracy. illiteracy. Pick up that Bible that you got collecting dust in your house, on your bed, on your coffee table, on your nightstand, pick it up and finally read it, okay? So you won't be looking stupid all over the internet, okay? Now, I'm going to show y'all a couple things. I keep talking about Trump could be the Antichrist. Because people love him so much. He's adored. They love him, especially conservatives and people they call us on the far right, you know, the mega people. Us, who believe in what he says because he speaks the things that's coming for the, from the Bible, okay? They hate when he talks about the Bible. That lets you know that the people who hate it are demons. I mean, you hate Trump that much? That much that he can't even talk about the Bible and God and what God said is right. You hate him that much. Now, right here from GotQuestions.com. Is Donald Trump the Antichrist? Is he? I'm going to read you something. Hold on a second. Let me pull up this video I'm trying to pull up. The Antichrist says nobody can keep Israel safe. That's what the Antichrist says. And then they put up this video of Donald Trump. I guess they're calling him the Antichrist because Trump said that nobody can keep Israel safe but him. Listen to this right here. Listen. I kept Israel safe. Remember that. I kept Israel safe. Nobody else will. Nobody else can, and I know all of the players, they can't do it. But I kept Israel safe, and I will keep Israel safe. Thank you very much. But he didn't lie, y'all. He did keep Israel safe. There was no wars. So just because he said, I kept Israel safe, does that mean he's the Antichrist? Isn't that what every president supposed to do? Keep another country safe? Look at the United States sending all that money over there to Ukraine. They trying to keep them safe by supplying them with weapons and guns and military machines, you know. No war with Trump, okay? If he was president right now, all this mess would not be going on. They won't. And he will continue to keep Israel safe. Yeah. Now, you say to yourself, okay, so what is the Antichrist? 
then. Well, who is the Antichrist? Who is it and what is it? And when he going to come? Nobody know when he's going to come, y'all. Nobody knows, okay? Nobody knows. Even the so-called prophets don't know. Now, when someone is a prophet, y'all, a real prophet, I'm going to talk about a fake. I'm not talking about someone that's fake, that's thinking, having dreams, you know, and predicting stuff. Prophet is never wrong when they predict something and they tell you, okay? They're never wrong. They're going to get it right every time. Even the dates and time, if they know it, okay, if God speaks to them, Jesus speaks to them. They're going to know, okay? They will not stir you the wrong way. And listen to this, what they say about the Antichrist. What is the Antichrist? So you'll know, so you can stop believing some of these fake people, okay? Listen. The Antichrist is depicted as a powerful and deceitful figure who opposes Jesus Christ and seeks to establish his own reign of authority. The Antichrist is described as a charismatic leader who will rise to power in the end times, during a period of great turmoil and deception. He will deceive many people with his charisma, eloquence, and apparent solutions to global problems. He will perform signs and wonders, leading people to believe that he is a divine figure. The Antichrist will establish a global kingdom and exercise immense control over the world, implementing a system of economic, political, and religious dominance. He will demand worship and allegiance from people, forcing them to receive a mark on their foreheads or hands as a sign of their loyalty. However, the Antichrist's rule will be marked by deception, oppression, and persecution of those who refuse to worship him. He will blaspheme God and seek to eliminate any form of true worship and devotion to Jesus Christ. According to biblical prophecy, the reign of the Antichrist will be temporary. In the end, Jesus Christ will return in glory and defeat the Antichrist and his followers. The Antichrist will be thrown into the lake of fire, and Jesus will establish his eternal kingdom of peace and righteousness. The purpose of the biblical narrative regarding the Antichrist is to serve as a warning to believers, urging them to be discerning, faithful, and steadfast in their devotion to Jesus Christ. It highlights the reality of spiritual deception and the importance of remaining rooted in the truth of God's Word. The concept of the Antichrist is found primarily in the books of Daniel, 1 John, and the book of Revelation. This is the end of this episode. Follow for more content. Very well put together video. I like that. I like that. Now, does it seem like Trump is the Antichrist, y'all? Does he blast God? Does he blast him? No. Is he talking about putting a mark on your head, mark of the beast? No. Trump is not the Antichrist, y'all. Okay? I don't care what people say. Y'all need to stop listening to some of these people, okay? They hate Trump. You got to remember that. You got to remember they don't like the man. They can't stand him. They just cannot stand Trump, Okay? Just because a lot of people like him and love him, you know, even some of the Democrats are moving over to the right side. Some of the Democrats going to be voting for Trump because they tired of this mess with Biden and what's going on and what he's doing to their family. Okay. They can barely survive. They can barely do anything. But y'all, Trump is not the Antichrist. It says right here from God Questions. It is common, y'all. For people to seek to demonize those with whom they disagree politically. Calling a person the Antichrist is essentially declaring him or her to be Satan's incarnated. Some of the far right were and still are convinced that former President Barack Obama was or is the Antichrist. That's the people on the right. They're talking about us, the conservatives. Some who hold too far left, they're talking about the people now, left political views, were convinced that President George Bush was the Antichrist. Now those who disagree with the political views of President Donald Trump are throwing the Antichrist label at him as well. 
This political demonization is ridiculous as the biblical indicators of who is the Antichrist have nothing to do with conservatives or progressive politics, y'all. Nothing to do with it. Second, Christians in the United States tend to forget that the end times revolves around the nation of Israel, not the United States. The Bible nowhere explicitly prophesies the existence of the United States. While the United States may have a role in the end times or be somehow associated with the Antichrist, the uniquely evil end times world leader, it is also possible that the United States would not even exist in the end times, y'all. The Americanization of Bible prophecy is unwarranted. So we may not even be here. <sighs> because all them countries going to be pissed at us for helping Israel and they're going to bomb us to death. Allegedly. Let me say allegedly, you too. Allegedly. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but God knows what just might happen. Might get demonetized just for talking about Jesus Christ and God, you know, and the Bible. You know how they do it. <laughs> so some people on the right, they convinced that Barack Obama was or is the Antichrist. I could see it. They loved him too. But how come y'all didn't call him the Antichrist? The people on the left, the, you know, the Democrats, you know. The far, why y'all didn't call him the, the Antichrist? Okay. I just want to wonder about that. I just wonder. Moving right along here. Listen to this vid video about the Antichrist peace treaty. Pay close attention. Pay close attention. If you don't believe it, all you got to do is just go to your Bible, okay? Look it up. Look it up what they're saying. That's all you got to do, okay? Just listen. The Antichrist. What does the Bible say about Israel at the end of the world? The Antichrist will come with power and sign a peace treaty with Israel for seven years. The seven-year period is known as the Tribulation. During the Tribulation, there will be terrible wars, famines, plagues, and natural disasters. God will pour out His wrath against sin, wickedness, and iniquity. The four horsemen of the Apocalypse, the seven seals, the seven trumpets, and the seven bowls of wrath. Halfway through the seven years, the Antichrist will break the peace treaty with Israel and make war against them. At the end of the seven years of the Antichrist's tribulation, he will launch a final attack on Jerusalem. Walking into the Battle of Armageddon, Jesus Christ will return, destroy the Antichrist and his armies, and cast them into the lake of fire. After that, he will bind Satan in the abyss for a thousand years and rule his earthly kingdom during these thousand years. At the end of the thousand years, Satan will be released, defeated once again, and cast into the lake of fire and brimstone for all eternity. Christ will then judge the unbelievers in the great throne judgment. Now I know you're not supposed to question God or the Bible or Jesus. He's going to be banned for seven years, the demon, the devil, the Satan, the Antichrist. For, I'm sorry, a thousand years. Then he's going to come back and he's going to be defeated again. Why do you think Satan just can't be abolished forever? Does he have a lot of power too, you know? I don't know, y'all. I can't tell y'all. Put it down in the comment section. But let me tell you, do you think we're in the tribulations right now? Do you think so? I'm going to say no, okay? Because some of this stuff he mentioned is not happening. Yeah, wars are happening. Yes, they are. Yes, it's going to be wars. We've had wars 100 years ago, two and 300 years ago. There's always been wars, okay? Killings and stuff like that. Devastations, always. But are we in the tribulations? Is it time for the rapture? Is it? <laughs> Ooh, some of y'all scared for nothing. It's coming, but I pray it don't happen in my lifetime. I don't want to see it. I really don't want to see it. I don't. I don't. Okay. A lot of people waiting for it. I'm ready. I'm ready to be taken away to glory. I'm ready. But you know the Jehovah's Witness, they think the good is going to inherit the earth 
That's what they think. Let me know. Are you Jehovah's Witness? How do you feel about the rapture and the tribulation? What do y'all think about that, huh? Put it on down there. I want to know. Okay. It's going to be heaven here on earth. It would be nice. It would be. But I don't know. We'll see. Also here, it says, from Got Questions. So is Donald Trump the Antichrist? Why Trump does possesses some traits, that's what they say, he possesses some traits that are similar to the Bible description of the Antichrist. The same could be said of many world leaders though. Further, there are serious questions regarding whether it is possible that the Antichrist could be a non-Jewish, non-Semitic person. In our evaluation, it is highly unlikely that Donald Trump is the Antichrist. Ultimately, though, the answer to the question has to be, wait and see, y'all. Insert any other name into that question, though, and the answer remains the same. Whether you put Trump in there, you put Joe Biden in there, you put Obama in there, whoever you put up in there, Putin in there, you know, Zelensky in there, whatever name you put up in there, in there, the answer is going to remain the same. Second, Theolonians 2-3 states that the Antichrist, the man of lawlessness, will be revealed when the rebellion occurs. It will be abundantly clear who he is. When the time comes, rather than speculating about various scenarios and demonizing people with whom we disagree, our responsibility is to be wise and discerning based on what the Bible says about the Antichrist, y'all. Now, that was good what they said right there. Stop demonizing people. People on the left do it. People on the right do it. I'm guilty of it, demonizing, so I'm going to stop demonizing people. I'm just going to speak my truth about who they really are. Because we don't know who the demons are. But I'm going to say this, though. They are doing demon-like things, okay? Demon-like. Put it like that. Let's call it demon-like things, okay? Hmm. All right. Moving right along. Look at this video right here. Lastly, five things that the Antichrist will accomplish. Pay close attention to these five things. These are the five things that the Antichrist is going to accomplish in the last days. And the last one's going to shock you. Number one, the Bible says that the Antichrist will build a one world military. All the militaries on the planet will listen to this one man. Number two, it says he will build a one world government. He will bring all the governments and the United Nations and all the powers of the earth together under one umbrella. Number three, it says that he will build a one world religion. The Antichrist will get everyone to coexist which is false. And then the next one, he wants to be the one world ruler. Everyone will look to this man as a God, the Bible says. And then finally, which is the one we're looking at right now, he will attempt a one world money system. I want you to like and subscribe now if you want to know the whole truth about the Antichrist. Yo, he will build a one world army. The Antichrist. One world army. Now what in the heck would a one world army accomplish when countries get mad at each other? <laughs> I don't understand that part. Two. A one world government. We're going to all combine together. Whether we disagree or don't, we're going to have a one world government. Because we want to control everybody, every U.S. citizen, every person abroad. We want to control everyone. So it's going to be a one world system. Okay. One world religion. Okay. We don't believe in Jesus Christ. Okay. Y'all just going to have to be condemned. Probably put to death. You never know what they want to do, y'all. One religion. You got to believe what we believe in. 
Don't look at that Bible, okay? We are in the new times now. We're creating our own Bible. <laughs> one ruler, okay? One ruler, one person on top. That's the Antichrist if you tell me, ask me. One person is going to rule the whole entire world. He's going to tell everybody what to do. And you better follow it. You better or you'll be put to death. Not death, can't hear. Death. Okay. What well, he also said, one world money system. You know what? That's going on right now. They're trying to do that, y'all. One world money system. The central bank is trying to take over everything digital so they can know everything about you. What you're spending at the store, who you giving money to, where you going Shopping, they're going to know everything, how many cars you got because you have purchased it and the whole entire world is going to know what you have been purchasing, whether you paying for sex, okay, they're going to know. I'm sick of this. Go down there and tell me what y'all think. Do you think the Antichrist is here on earth right now. Who do you think it is? They said don't speculate and don't demonize people. Sometimes you can't help it because they show their demon side, you know. Do you think we're in tribulation? Do you think the rapture is near? Do you think Donald Trump <laughs> It's the Antichrist. I have to keep laughing about that one. Ooh, go down there and tell me what y'all think. And make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And watch the next video coming up. Thank you. Yeah.